Hi everyone and welcome to Spray the World, the channel dedicated to street art and urban art. We're here to discover and explain the work of some of the greatest artists ever. But as you can see today I'm not in my apartment, I'm outside. I live in Paris so I decided to take you outside and show you some of the greatest wall in our city. And to start we're gonna start with the wall of Serge Gainsbourg. We are Rue de Verne in the 7th arrondissement of Paris in front of the house of Serge Gainsbourg and as you can see behind me on this wall there are quite some work. But before taking a close look to it, a bit of history about Serge Gainsbourg. Serge Gainsbourg is a famous French singer from the 60s, 70s and 80s. He is as famous for his lyric as he is for his personality, let's say both quite controversial. He died in 1991 and since then fans from around the world come to pay their respect by tagging or painting on his wall. Due to some renovation work, in July 2013, the wall was completely painted white, creating disappointment from all the fans. But just a few days after, the wall was again painted. And one of the first who came to paint was Anthony Le Maire, with this incredible portrait of Serge Gainsbourg, inspired by a photo of Tony Frank, the photographer of the stars. You can also see some graffiti around the portrait, which are in fact the titles of his songs. Of course, a couple years later, this piece has disappeared behind multiple layers of graffiti, tags, painting, or college. Today, as you can see, you can find two main pieces by Chilean London-based artist Otto Shade. Otto Shade is recognizable, as you can see, by the image he creates with ribbons, picturing characters, animals. And this is one of his signature style, with also the sunset that picture our society. Here he painted a smiley face that as you can see is already starting to be covered in tags. It may not look like much at first but in fact if you take a close look to this smiley face you'll see that in fact it's the map of Paris and as you can see on the image that I'm showing you he wrote names of the main street of our city and the mouth is actually the river La Seine. The second piece is a portrait of Gainsbourg and again he used those ribbons to create the image and if you take a close look to it you'll see that he wrote some things on the ribbons. In fact those are the titles of some of the famous songs of Serge Gainsbourg. Of course those are the obvious pieces but there are a few others that are really really nice when you take a close look to the wall. There is for example this very colorful collage by Ernesto Novo. They are in fact a mix of two portraits and as you can see one is made of a gypsy girl dancing. To an outsider this may not look like much but in fact this gypsy girl dancing is the logo of the brand of cigarette that Gainsbourg was smoking and he was a heavy smoker. You can actually see a pack of cigarettes of this brand called Gitan Glue on the wall. It is also Ernesto Novo who invited the artist that painted this portrait of Gainsbourg. Her name is Dr. Veba Simba and she's from Brazzaville in Congo. Since we are speaking about portrait, there's also this one that is really cool by Joris. You can also see some tribute to the fact that Serge Gainsbourg loved women. He was a serial lover. So you can see for example this collage by Paddy picturing a police woman officer pin-up style. I wouldn't mind if all the police officers look like that. Oh yeah. There is also this portrait of Juliette Greco with whom Gainsbourg worked a lot in this house. And this work is by me. Me, not me, but me, the artist, M.E. The book by Intra is also welcome here. It's a good illustration of Gainsbourg's love for women. I also like those black stenciled butterflies that can be an interpretation of one of Gainsbourg's songs called Les Papillons Noirs, literally the black butterflies. And those are made by Dominique de Quebec. You also have this cool portrait by Ariane Pasco and those ones by Sarah Chelou. And those nice college of photographs of Gainsbourg are made by Pierre Terrasson. Worth mentioning also this cool work by Kuka and Taddy, even though it's not technically on the wall. Kuka and Taddy is famous for painting native tribe people, and again, even though it's not on the wall, it is really cool, and it has been here for quite some time already. And of course, the rest of the wall is covered in different tags and graffiti, and also full of message of love by the fans of Serge Gainsbourg. But all those pieces are meant to disappear in the future, like it's already the case with the smiley face covered in tag. So I'll definitely come in the future to make an update uh, of this wall when it will be completely different and with nice pieces that is worth mentioning. Well that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if so don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and to share it of course. Please let me know in the comment if you liked it and if so I'll do other videos about Paris, locations and walls covered in graffiti. 
If you haven't seen my previous video, now is the time. You can, for example, check the one about the Urban Art Fair in Paris or this one about Martin Watson. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. And remember that you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram where you'll see more pictures about this wall. So until next time, don't forget to spray the wall. See ya!